Hi guys, please subscribe to this channel and like the video to support my project. And we are starting a new adventure. Today I will talk about so-called territory of France and Rome. We are in Villa Medici. Excursions here are only guided. My excursion was in French uh, and uh, they gave an opportunity to make photos and videos. So I will uh, try to show this beautiful place and uh, tell a bit about its history. Palace of Villa Medici today hosts uh, the French Academy in Rome. The French Academy in Rome welcomes artists uh, from all disciplines. Artists live on the territory of Villa and work under their projects. Artists could be from any countries but must speak French. Each year, 15 artists selected by an independent jury from around 600 applications submitted are awarded a grant. They can then spend a maximum of two years at the Villa. Here we see the monument uh, to Louis XIV. The French Academy in Rome was created in 1666 and had several successive residences and finally in 1803 settled by Napoleon Bonaparte at the Villa Medici. An idea to settle French Academy in Rome appeared in the mind of Colbert at the time of uh, Louis XIV. At the time Rome was the center of art and the best destination to bring artists uh, from the French kingdom and train them. The Villa Medici is situated on Pincho Hill. Pincho Hill does not belong uh, to the seven mile Roman hills because it's outside to the sacred wall of antique Rome. The Villa Medici is located where it plays the gardens of Lucius Lucinius. During the 3rd century, Emperor Aurelius built a wall around Rome to protect it from barbarians. In 410 AD, the wall fell under the troops of Alaric. Later, the Emperor Honorius built in this place his palace. At the fall of the Roman Empire, the palace was abandoned. The history of uh, Villa Medici began in the second half of uh, the 16th century, when Cardinal Marcello Crescenzi started significant renovation works of the original building. The villa became one of the most prestigious residences in Rome. In uh, 1564, Giulio and Giovanni Ricci, nephews of uh, the Cardinal Ricci, bought the villa. At that time, the villa went uh, through new significant changes thanks to the architect Hannibal, who built the monumental entrance on the Via de Porta Pinciana and completely renovated the gardens. In 1576, Ferdinando de' Medici bought the villa. Bartolome Amanti, a Florentine sculptor and architect, made here some changes, and villa was transformed uh, to host the collection of artworks and masterpieces. At that time, the villa and gardens were decorated with beautiful statues and fountains. In 2015, the gardens of Villa Medici elected the most beautiful gardens of Italy. By the way, the statue of uh, two lions that decorate Villa Medici symbolized at the same time the city of Florence. King uh, Leon X and Ferdinando de' Medici are born under the diac sign of uh, Leo. The two spheres under the lions recall the Medici weapons. The facade of the buildings is encrusted with antique bazo reliefs and statues. In 1584, Cardinal Ferdinando de' Medici bought uh, the entire collection of antiquities of Palazzo Valle. The reliefs were adapted uh, to the needs of uh, decorations. On the facade, we can also see the coat of arms of the Medici family. Also, the facade is decorated with a theater mask. The Villa Medici offers a beautiful view over the whole Rome. From here, it is also possible to see the St. Peter's Basilica and other monuments of Vatican.
A spiral staircase leads to the cardinal private apartments. The rooms offer a beautiful view of the garden. Jacob Petsuki, the cardinal's official painter, was called to make the interior decoration of the palace. Among the most famous decorations he created is the cardinal's apartment, made up of a series of three rooms, including the coffered ceilings. The ceilings painter has cosmological accent, featuring mythological deities. In the cardinal's bedroom, we discover the image of his horoscope uh, predicting a royal destiny for him. According to legend, when Ferdinando de' Medici was born, his father Cosimo I had read in his uh, newborn horoscope signs of uh, royal destiny. But Ferdinando was the fifth son of uh, the line of succession. Concerning for uh, the destiny of uh, his elder son, Cosimo decided to hide the document predicting the death of his uh, first four sons. But happened as it was uh, predicted. The elder brother of uh, Ferdinando died uh, very young. His elder brother, Francesco I, died in uh, 1587. This room is uh, called uh, the Chamber of Jupiter Laws. The French Academy in Rome invited the Italian artist Claudio Parmigiani to paint uh, the ceiling in this room. The ceiling in this room, as in the previous two, was uh, painted by Jacopo Zucchini. Uh, but uh, the panels and friezes of this room were destroyed by uh, fire at uh, the decision of the Grand Duke Cosimo III of uh, Medici, whose modesty was offended by the decoration which he considered too licentious. And this is the statue of the god Mercury. It's a copy of a 16th century work by the great Flemish sculptor Gian Bologna. The original is on display in the Bargello Museum in Florence. The gardens of the Villa Medici extend over 80 hectares and largely retains its 16th century layout. Divided into three areas, the piazzali, the squares and the bosco. Such construction is similar to the Tuscan botanical gardens.
in the time of Medici the main entrance to the territory of Vila was here. This statue is called the Goddesses of Rome. It was found near the Quirinal Palace. It was presented to Cardinal Ferdinand de' Medici by Pope Gregory XIII as the personification of the Eternal City. This sculptural complex represents characters from ancient Greek mythology, Niobe, her children, and the equestrian messenger of death. These sculptures were discovered in 1583 near Porta San Giovanni. There is a version that they may have uh, adorned the gardens of Emperor Lucinius Galenus. According to legend, the children of Niobe were killed by silver arrows and remained unburied for 10 days until the gods themselves buried them in the earth. In the Villa Medici garden stands a decorative pavilion often referred as to the aviatory. The room is painted with ornate uh, trellises with flowers, birds and little animals, also called the room of uh, birds. It was painted by Jacopo Zucchini in the 16th century. This room is decorated with grotesque frescoes, which means they were inspired by the frescoes found in Domus Aurea of Nero. The Medici dynasty ended in 1737, when Gian Gaston with the Medici died without heir. After that, uh, their villa became the property of the Lorraine dynasty.
Antique works of uh, art from uh, the villa were later transferred uh, to Florence as ordered by Leopold II, and the villa now has copies of the lost statues. That's all for today. I thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in the new interesting places.